Hi, thanks for joining me again in another video uh, on Sentinel for Investigating Managers. In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick insight into some of the reporting formats we have available to us that you can have on your dashboard or have as formal reports that can be sent out automatically. So, we just run through some of the types that we have available, give you a bit of an idea as to how you can create your dashboard. We can have tabular reports. So these can contain any piece of information that is submitted through one of the form types. We have risk maps. So these can create very visual risk map diagrams from the data and it can use a query in the background. So it can look across multiple reports. It can look across a period of time. So really it's, it's how you want the data to be able to, to be shown to you or how you may want to use it thereafter. Similarly, we have a timeline, risk timeline, so we can actually plot risks on a timeline so we can identify causes and um, similarities. Pie charts, and then again, we can actually have different colors assigned to that. Uh, line charts as well with averages. So again, if you've got something where there's a numerical value or a numerical um, piece of information in there, a line chart could be a really useful tool to use. Step line chart is going to be very similar and a smooth is going to be similar again. Radar and area charts just to change the visualization a little bit. As you run through, you can have typical bar charts and stacked bar charts depending on what you need and a few 3D options as well. We can also have word cloud, which is a really powerful one, particularly for uh, instances or, or um, something where you want to see if there's any kind of causality or particularly for maybe for complaints or concerns. You can have a word cloud which will bring out the, the, the keywords that have come through over a period of time. So as you can see, it's really powerful. We can produce very, very good reports, uh, which so you can really customize your dashboard. And over time, I'm sure that you'll think of ways uh, to utilize these tools. And you may want to then have them, as I say, as a report that comes out to you on a certain period of time to submit, potentially through to one of the governance committees or even just share with your team. So again, thank you for sure joining me. Uh, in this training video and we look forward to seeing what you can think of and ways to use Sentinel. Thank you.